I'm sure you've at least heard it before. If you've talked to people about religion and about Jesus, or maybe you've said it before, maybe you believe it. Well, it goes something like this. It doesn't matter what you believe, as long as you have a relationship with Jesus. And maybe that is you, and maybe you have said that before. But if you'll just bear with me this morning, have a little bit of patience, I want to challenge that line of thinking by just looking at some of the things that Jesus said himself. Like in Luke chapter 6 and verse 46, where he says, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things that I say? You know, Jesus says that if we're going to make him Lord in our lives, then we need to not only follow him, we need to follow what he says. Think about what he said over in John. He rejects me and does not receive my words, says that which judges him. The words that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. Or he who does not love me does not keep my words. Or if you abide in me and my words abide in you. Or in Mark chapter 8, he says, For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with all the holy angels. And so what do we see in all that Jesus says here? Well, you can't separate Jesus out from his words. You can't follow him and not follow what he teaches. That's impossible. You know, Jesus basically says over and over again, do you think you're a disciple of mine, but you don't do what I taught and follow my words, then you are gravely mistaken. Paul says he was not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes. We can't be ashamed either because it's our only hope. Don't get me wrong, not everything Jesus taught is easy for us to swallow. And because of that, they're not very popular. But they're our only hope. You know, what did Jesus teach regarding belief, baptism, and salvation in Mark 16, 16? Or what did Jesus teach regarding how the church ought to deal with a brother who refuses to repent of his sin in Matthew chapter 18? Or what does Jesus say regarding marriage, divorce, and remarriage in Matthew chapter 19? You know, that's just a sampling size of some of the teachings of Jesus that is very hard for some of us to swallow. And so there's going to come a time when somebody's going to ask you the hard question. And you know that if you give them the truth, if you give them the words of Jesus, it's going to hit them really hard. And you can water down the truth and make them think that they're okay when they're not really okay. Um, but it's not going to do them a bit of good, and it's not going to do you a bit of good. So what do you do? Well, you speak in love. You season your words with, with grace. You have compassion upon them. But you tell them the truth. Mm -hmm.